Hello there, this is Agnes from Agnes Craft. Today we are going to see about some of the tips and tricks on on edge quilling or edge work. Before going into the topic, if you are a new visitor, then subscribe us and click the bell icon to get notified to our new updates. You could also visit me on Facebook and Instagram where you could see my new artworks. To start with, first let us see what on edge quilling is. It has other names like edge work and outline quilling. So on edge quilling is when a quilling strip is not rolled into its basic shapes like coils or scrolls. Instead the paper strip is added to your work along the outline or can also be used to fill in space but were not the traditional coils. Let us now see what type of paper strips can be used. Use a thicker paper strip than the usual quilling strips. Cardstock is stiffer than quilling paper and holds shape easily. On edge quilling strips are also available in the market. You can also cut your own strips from cardstock and the thickness of paper should be above 160 GSM for better results. When thickness is around or more than 300 GSM, it is harder to make smooth curves but it can be used comfortably when you need to make straight lines for a project. When your project is bigger, thicker cardstock can be used. If you don't have cardstock or if you don't have a particular color cardstock for your project, then you could also use two usual quilling strips that can be sticked together to get a cardstock effect. As soon as we glue the strips, bend them to the desired shapes so they don't show any bends or cracks between the two strips. Here you can see three strips, one from cardstock. Next is two quilling strips stuck together and a usual quilling strip. When I move you can notice difference in them. Width of paper. The width of paper is also important. The wider the strips, the more shades of the color we get. Usually a 5mm wide strip is enough, but you can go to 10mm or above if you prefer. Here you can see different widths of paper and different thickness of paper. Try out each one yourself and go with which you feel comfortable to work with. For me it is 5mm when I do on edge works usually. That particular width also fits well with the framing I use. But this work which is 90 into 120 cm big is made with 10 mm strips and they are 120 gsm thick. The stock of the dandelion is made with 400 gsm paper as it is just a straight line and so it is very easy to manipulate. Now going on to the glue. This is a PVA glue or white glue that we get in India and it dries clear. So it is usually used in paper crafts. But I like to use this fabric glue. Even this is PVA glue but it is more thicker than the other one. So it dries fast and there is no need to hold your work for too long until it dries. I also love the cap which keeps the bottle upside down and so there is no struggle every time to get glue out. Let me apply the glue and show you its consistency. You can see how the glue flows fast from the PVA glue and is flowing slowly in fabric glue which shows their consistency. And now for gluing. For gluing on edge works I take glue in a flat surface and apply a long thin layer of glue. Slightly touch the bottom of the strip on glue and wipe away any extra glue by placing the strip on a clear area. Now when I fix the strip in place, you can see it being clear from glue marks. Remember, I am not a professional but I am giving ideas which I have been learning for the past 5 years of quilling. If I learn new tricks in future, 
I will make an update video of it. Here let me show when I don't dump away the extra glue you can see the little blocks of glue. For curved pieces this is what I do. When I want to add glue to a space between two strips which were already adhered, take a little glue in a paper strip, slide it where you need to apply glue and press them. You can use this trick especially in typography. So these are some of the tricks which I have learned so far. And if you have any other tricks, please comment below and I will be glad to answer all your questions regarding on edge quilling. So please comment below and also don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.